going to look at uh, putting the solar on the roof. So I've got some roof pass with a fan. So basically I'm just going to get those up on top of the roof and uh, try and figure out the best way to, to mount the solar panel. This is my solar panel. So I decided to go for a 150 watt panel and uh, I made a spreadsheet to calculate what um, you know, electricity I'm going to be using, how much watts I'm going to use, what size solar panel I need and what size leisure batteries I need. But I'll make another video going through all the calculations for the, um, the power consumption and how I arrived at this 150 watt panel. I'm just up on the roof of the van and uh, I've noticed a few pat patches of rust. So what I'm going to do here as well, what I'm going to do is get some uh, rust treatment and some white hammerite and just uh, go over that before anything's mounted on the roof. So we're back again with the uh, hammerite cure rust. I've just pulled back the, uh, the door, rear door seal, um, so that just pulls off and I'm just going through and just putting a little bit of rust treatment on this edge because it's starting to get a little bit rusty. <laughs> We're just going around and uh, tidying up, tightening up the roof rack a bit. So just giving it a little bit of paint. Nice. Just been round with the uh, white hammerite and covered up. I'm not sure if you can see it or not. But basically all the places I did the rust treatment, I've just given a little bit of white hammerite. So that's ready and rust free now. Solar panel comes with a few holes in it for mounting. So we've got one here and one here. And all I've done is drawn a little diagram of where they are so I can offer it up to the roof and find out whereabouts the mounting points are going to be on the actual van. I'm just going to go up on the roof and uh, mark out and drill the holes to bolt the solar panel to the roof rack. So I've just checked the um, marks on the roof rack against the panel to check they're in the right place and they look like they're all good so we're going to go ahead and drill them now out the holes and now I'm going to pilot them and then drill them out to 8mm for my M8 bolts. I've now been through with the 8mm drill bit, uh, so I'm just going to hammer right in there with a cotton bud just to uh, get rid of the bare metal and have a sweep up, get rid of the swarf. So like I said, I've got my cotton bud paint. Just going to get a bit on there. And just rust proof these holes. Go from underneath. Sorted. This is going to get bonded to the roof uh, as a water, waterproof gland for the solar wires to go, go into the van. Now I want my wires to go in somewhere around here because that, that's, that's the best place to root them down the wall of the van. I also want my gland to face this way so when you're driving, rain it doesn't get into the gland as easily. If you mounted it this way around then obviously the rain is just going to be directly hitting against the entry point of the, of the gland so I don't want to do that when I'm mounting this way around. On the panel, the solar panel, the wires, if it's mounted this way, with this being the front, then the wires will come out this direction and I'll have to loop them back round to go in. So I'm going to turn the panel 180 degrees, mount it with the front of the panel here, the wires will run out and be able to go straight in to the gland. So I've got my solar panel here and I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to route all the wire in. So basically, the way it's been supplied is basically a bit rubbish because I've got all this wire on here but this wants to be on the inside of the van so I can route the cables but it's got this connector on the end now that connector is not going to fit through my gland 
So basically, what I want to do is I'm going to desolder these wires from here, and I'm going to remove them. And then the other end, which was supplied in the kit, which is designed to connect into there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these crocodile clips off and solder them on here. So one will be. So these will be soldered onto these contacts here. Then I can utilise my connector. This wire won't be attached. I'll connect this up like this above the uh, above the roof, and then this free end will then be able to feed through the gland and into the van, and I'll have all this spare cable in the van to route the cables wherever I want. But I'll show you once we get it all. Once we get it all uh, set up up there, I'll, I'll go through it again. Starting to go. So I'm just going to tin the wires ready to be soldered onto the solar panel. When you're tinning your wires, what you want to do is get get your iron nice and hot, especially with thick wires. And then you want to, I'm not sure how well you can see it, you want to get a ball of solder on the iron and then hold that on the bottom of the wire and then feed in the solder from the top and when it's this, when the wire is heated up enough then you can feed the solder in from the top and it will melt on the wire so that's what you want to do, you want to have some solder on the tip of the iron, hold it on the bottom and then feed in your solder from the top and when it's hot enough it will melt and it will tin the whole way around the wire so once you've got both your wires tinned that's what you're looking for nice shiny joint all the way around covered in the silver colour solder my terminals are already tinned, so they've already got solder on. Tinning is applying solder before actually soldering it together. So you want solder sticks to solder, so you want some solder on the terminal, and you also want solder on the wires. And then you want to heat them up and feed solder in until it flows all the way around nicely. That's what I'm going to do now. So now you can see a bit clearer what, my, what I was talking about earlier. So now I've got this wire connected to the solar panel before it had the crocodile clips on it so now that's on there I can then plug this into here and then all this wire can go into the van and that can go to my solar charge controller so that is a much nicer way of having the wires set up on your solar panel so as I was saying before I've got the connection there and all my wire and then this wire here poke through the gland and go into the van and that's how the kit should have come. I've got the four corners of the solar gland roughly marked out on the roof as to where it's going to go. I've done the same in here, it's gonna be up there so it's going to go on the right, I think about there it's fine. Um, so what I'm going to do is pilot it with this and then go through with this 50mm hole saw and then what I can do is use this rubber grommet just, just to tidy the edge up and then put the wires through there. So I've got my drill um, with the pilot bit in and I'm going to drill the centre hole ready to cut out the hole for the gland. So we've got 50mm hole saw and just some oil to lubricate it, I haven't got any WD-40 or anything, so this will have to do. So I'm just going to go in, drip some oil over it to cool it down and lubricate it. And see how we go. Nice. Look at the 
bloody mess. Mess everywhere. But we have a very nice, clean cut. Woo! Got my white hammer right and a cotton bud. So I'm just gonna protect the metal that we just drilled. both wires for a single gland. I don't need both, the wires are joined together, um, so it's just easy to put them through one and it will seal better because it's bigger. Uh, just blank that one off with a bit of plastic and tightened it down. Um, so I'm just going to pull this all the way through. Okay, now I'm going to put the uh, wire through this grommet. So I've just put a slit in it, just snipped it, a little cross in it to allow the wire to go Pass this through into the van. And the grommet can go on to so make sure it's in the uh, in the crease there. There we go. Nice and tidy. And now we're ready to bond the land down to the van. So the gland's bonded down, so I've just put some tape over it to hold it down, keep pressure on it, and I'll leave that now to dry. The uh, other side, so obviously you're not going to see any of this, but just to give you an idea, so I've got the wires coming in, and I'll route them along this beam and then down the wall to this area here which is where all my electronics are going to be. I don't want the wire to flap around and uh, hit on the panel or hit on the van whilst I'm driving. So I've got these self-adhesive little bases. So what they do, peel the backing off, stick it on there, and then you can put a cable tie through the through there and that'll just tie the wire down to the uh, to the panel. So here you can see what I mean. So I've got the base, then the cable tie through there, and that just holds the wire nice and secure. And then what I'll do once I've connected it is I'll probably tape that to there um, and then do the same, route the wire down so that's nice and secure. And that's not gonna that's also gonna prevent stress on the solder joints in there because that can't wiggle around. So that's done nicely. So I drilled eight mil holes and I got M8 bolts and nylock nuts. Um, they're going to bolt through this roof rack and into the uh, into the frame of the solar panel. So here's a better view of the uh, wire. So it's tied up onto the panel here. Then it goes into the gland and that's not going anywhere. That's not going to flap against the van or the panel. So it's all bolted down now with the bolts. And then, at the back there. All good. These are the wires from the solar panel. So because it's all connected up on the roof, these are, and it's a, well, it's a sunny day, um, these are going to have voltage and current for them. So what I'm going to do, even though they are insulated, Show it some insulation tape and just wrap those around the end so they definitely can't touch anything or short out on anything like that. Solar panel's now bolted down um, and the wires are run through into the van. So the next thing for the solar will be uh, connecting up and wiring everything up, but that'll be another video. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.